Hi, I'm Phil Burt, and today we're going to talk about a common problem that people experience in cycling, which is numb hands. Now, the reason why you get numb hands is there's a nerve just underneath this pad here of skin at the bottom of the thumb, which, when it's put too much pressure on there, it gives you the, the nerve, gives the feeling that you have either pins and needles or numbness. Now, numb, some numbness on, say, a really long ride when you've been in the saddle for a long time is completely normal. People take their hands off the handlebars, shake your hand around, and if it goes away, that's fine. But if you're having more problems with it, like it's you know, pretty uncomfortable, spoiling your enjoyment of cycling, or it's lasting off the bike, you really need to do something about that because it can turn into a nasty permanent condition. So what things can you look for in your setup that will help you alleviate numb hands or might be causing it? So your setup from front to back, if you've got too much weight on the front of the bike, i.e. your saddle's too high or too far forward, or the front is too low, far away, that tends to chuck you onto the front of the bike. And one way people cope with that is by locking out their elbows. If you can't ride without unlocking your elbows, that's another sign that you might, the reason why you might have too much weight on the front and therefore getting numbness. To try and change that, bring your front end up, maybe lower and put your saddle down a little bit. Look at the overall balance between the weight on the back and the front and try and get a bit of the weight off your hands, all right? You should be able to, as a general rule, ride with your elbows flexed and nice and feel comfortable like that. Um, other things to look at are your handlebar width. Now, if your handlebars are too wide, you tend to splay like this to reach them. And again, that produces more pressure here, which can cause numb hands. General rule, your handlebars should be in line with your shouldering when you're riding. And we, you know, there are uh, quite a few different handlebars, 38, 40, 42. A big guy might ride a 44. Most people are around the 40, 42, some smaller people, the 38. Um, the other thing to look at is your hand, your hood position. If you're riding on the hoods, when you're down on the hoods, you shouldn't have to reach too far to the hoods. So the hood should be round the drop. That can often, if it's too far round like this, that can cause a problem and again, elicit numbness. If it's too far back as well though, and it's jamming you up and pushing in again into the femur omus, that can cause numb hands. So looking at that, the hood position overall. So with your hoods, the optimal position is like this, nice and comfortable, it's a wonderful ergonomic aid, you should feel comfortable to the grip and you can break easy. If you get in numb hands, look to see if you're having to reach round to the hood. If you're here and you're having to really flex your wrist from this distance, then that's going to cause problems. Same as if you come back here and the hood is jamming you up into this position, so the wrist is being forced into this position here, that will produce more pressure in here. So you should feel comfortable and fairly neutral position around the wrist. Other than that, things that can help alleviate that that aren't to do with your position are, there are some range of gloves, Specialized make a nice glove that has a little bit of gel in here um, and that can help with the problem. But try to look for the root cause because gel gloves and things like that are actually just dealing with the symptoms.